In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to take previously installed Autodesk software, whether it be network version or standalone, and convert it to the new named user license model. There are two methods you need to be aware of. Method number one is whether you can successfully launch the software. And method number two is if you don't have the ability to launch the software. Okay, so method number one, assuming I can launch the software. Assuming you can launch the software, you can simply go into the software and type in about at the command line and hit enter. And if you don't have a command line for someone like who's using, who might be using Revit, you can come up here to the top right hand corner of your software, click the pull down right here and select about. They both take you to the same place. I will then click on the license button and this box will appear. Now, I am using AutoCAD 2020 in this example, and I have already converted it to be the named user license model. I know that because I have an Autodesk ID here for my license details. If I was using network version software, then you would see that there would be a server name here. And if I was using serial version software, you would see a serial number here. Now, I'm going to show you how to convert this in AutoCAD 2018. But due to legal reasons, I can't show you my serial number. So that's why I wanted to show you what to look for in uh, 2020. OK, so again, I'm going to type in about at the command line and hit enter. I'm going to head over here to the manage license tab. And like I said, due to legal reasons, I can't expand that and show you my serial number. But trust me, this is running on a serial number uh, type of software. So I need to convert my AutoCAD 2018 to the new named user license model. All I have to do is click this change license type and I'm going to be prompted to say, hey, it's going to prompt me. Do you want to change this license to a different type? And I'm going to say, yes, change it. And then I will proceed to close this down and I will eventually get this. That's asking me, you know, you have six minutes remaining before the software shuts down. What would you like to do? Well, since I don't have a drawing open, I'm just going to go ahead and quit without saving. OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and launch my AutoCAD 2018 again. And depending on whether the software detects I'm already signed into my other software, it may just prompt me to do this. So as you can see, I was, I was actually, I'm glad it didn't detect the other software at first. I am now prompted to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. And because it did detect me on the other software, it went ahead and assigned me in. And I can show you that because now when I go to about 2018, you will see that I have my new Autodesk credentials in here. So this software has been converted. Okay. Now let's talk about method number two. What if you cannot, for whatever reason, what if you cannot open up the software? Reasons that you may not be able to open the software is either A, your serial number has expired to the point where it's not going to let you uh, launch the software, or B, your network license uh, file has expired beyond its uh, date and now no none of your network licenses will work so let's talk about now well, now we need to break this conversation into two segments there's the software that is 2020 and 2021 and software that is 2019 18 and 17 okay so for software that is 2020 or 2021 versions if I cannot get the software to open, then I must come down here with, with no Autodesk software running and go to a command prompt. Okay. In the command prompt, all you have to do is take this code right here, which I will be providing for you. Okay. And you're going to copy it and paste it into the command prompt and hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically convert the software uh, that you need to that that license model. Now let me break down this code for you so you understand. This right here represents the product key. This product key 001M1 is for AutoCAD 2021. This is the product version 2021 and this is the license model named user or user in this case. 
So if you need to use this same sequence for a different version software, 2020, you would change this to 2020, okay? But if you need it for something like AutoCAD architecture or AutoCAD Civil 3D or Revit or whatever, you need to know that product key. So where do we get the product keys? That's quite simple. You simply go to a Google search engine and I need the product key for Autodesk product keys. And then I pick the, the year, as you can see, they go pretty far back. So let's just say I need Autodesk product keys for 2020. And I'm going to come right here and hit this here. And here are all the product keys. So let's just say I had 3ds max 2020, that product key would be one, two, eight L one. Okay. AutoCAD 2020 is zero, zero one L one. Okay. So depending on what I'm trying to do, will or which software I need will drive that product key. So back to this, and I will put this in the, the notes for this video here. So you can just copy and paste it. And then you could just change out the product key and the version as needed. You simply copy this out and you'll paste it right in there. Now I've already got my software converted, so I don't need to hit enter, but at this point you would hit enter and you're done. Your software will be converted to the new named user license model. And when you launch the software, it will ask you to sign in done. Okay. But that's for 2020 and 2021. Let's talk about 2019. Okay. Okay. For 2019 and below, there are a couple of folders we need to be aware of. The first folder is right here. C users, your username. It will not be my name. That is my, though. That's my username right there. So obviously yours will be yours. Your username, app data, local Autodesk web services. Now I do have to make a note here. If you do not see app data, that is simply because app data is a hidden folder. So you might have to type it in, see users, username, app data with a backslash and then hit enter. And then you'll have access to this folder right here. And then you can go local Autodesk web services and you go over there and you will see what you need. There will be three files in here. Again, I've already done this on my end. So all my files have already been converted. I'm just telling you what needs to be done. I'm not going to do it myself. Okay. The three files here are the event XML, event trigger TMP, and the login state XML. You take those and you delete them all. Okay. And then you close this folder down. Then we head over to the next folder. The next folder will be C users. Oh, here we go. Username. Again, your username. App data. Again, if you don't see it, type it in. Roaming. Autodesk. And in there you will find an ADUT file. All you would do is simply right click and delete that. Okay. And then you'll go to the next folder, which will be C program data flexnet. And once you get to the flexnet, you will remove anything in this folder that has ADSK flex in front of it. There might be more than one. There might be just one, depends on how much, how much software you have. You basically delete them all. And then you go on to the next folder, which would be this C program data, Autodesk ADUT. Well, really we can even go back to one folder over here, Autodesk. Okay. And oh, there's that ADUT folder, you will delete that folder as well. Okay. And then the very last folder will be this C program data, Autodesk, CLM, LGS folder. Now you then have to go into each of these folders and change the LGS file. Now, remember I told you those product keys. 237K1 is the product key for my Civil 3D. 237J1 is my product key for my Civil 3D. And then I have Map 3D, AutoCAD, and AutoCAD. So as you can see, those product keys are coming into play again. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. This is AutoCAD 2018. I'm going to open up that file. Okay. I'm going to right click on the LGS.data file and I'm going to go over here and open it. Open with. 
I'm going to uncheck that and select Notepad. Okay. As you can see, it now says User. Earlier, that said Standalone. But because I already changed it in our my previous example, it does say User. So yours will say Standalone or Network. All you have to do is change that to User. Save this, close it, and um, you'll be done. Now, if you cannot save it and close it, or if the saving and close it does not work, I have seen that happen before, you simply need to create a new text document, okay? And you're going to name this lgs.data file, okay? Now, I'm showing this to you because sometimes you will not see this .txt extension, okay? So, if you don't see that extension, you need to head over here to the View tab and select file name extensions because if you don't have that showing you'll name this and I'm just going to give it a bogus name you know we'll call this one lgs2 dot data and you think you're doing this correctly but when you show the file extensions you will see that it's lgs2 dot data dot text which is incorrect so you want to make sure that you have those file extensions showing and then once it's open, once you have that file extension showing, you basically change this to be data, and you will open with Notepad. Then you will change this by putting underscore user. Save it and close it. Okay. Now again, I don't need that file, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then all you have to do at this point is launch your software and it should prompt you to sign in. That's how simple it is to make this named user transition. If you have any problems, let us know.